Do you know what soybean farmers in the farmers who create kale in the United States do? They're notorious for this. They kill and they ravage every mammal that tries to get near their crop. They torture them, they poison them, they cut their heads off, they leave the dead carcasses out on their fences so the other animals can have fear. So you, kale and soy eaters, are eating foods that are made with the blood of animals. Is that vegan? What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. So I wasn't planning on doing this, but because of so many clients and so many people in the YouTube community reaching out to me and asking for my opinion, I decided to go ahead and watch the movie Game Changers. In the movie Game Changers, I noticed three things that are major, major, major areas of what people could consider propaganda or little subtle sneaky lies or tricks that they're confusing people with in the movie. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys what those sneaky little lies in Game Changers are. Hey good people, I'd like to ask you for a favor. If you're enjoying this content, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and welcome to the community. Okay, so my first major issue with Game Changers in general is that the overriding theme of veganism in general kind of doesn't make sense to me. So if you look at the definition of veganism, it basically describes consciously not harming any living being or animal on purpose in any way, shape or form. And what vegans, hardcore vegans believe is that your lifestyle should not hurt kill or displace any sentient beings. And if your diet and lifestyle does do that, then that's violent, that's, a, that's an act of violence, it's low morality. And so my number one issue with the Game Changers movie and the vegan attitude in general is that are any vegans even really vegan? Here's what I mean. In the Game Changer movie, I saw bodybuilders running around with leather shoes on, using leather straps, driving in cars with leather seats. I also saw a ton of processed vegan food being promoted in the movie. Leather is not vegan. Processed food is not vegan, even if it doesn't have any animal products in it. You see, the, the thing about it is, is that the underlying lie, number one, of the Game Changers movie is that the vegan diet is the best for the environment and that everyone should go vegan. Now, here's the major issue with that statement. Should everyone go vegan? No. Why? Because no one can actually be fully vegan. And if you say you're fully vegan, then that means that you do not own any animal products whatsoever. You never, ever, ever eat animal foods whatsoever. And most importantly, you respect and you are nice to, and you are as vigilant about human animals as you are non-human animals. I have not yet met a vegan who does all of those things. The vegan diet is promoted in this movie as a way to heal the world. They try to have the standpoint that it's the most ethical and it's the best for the environment. But I ask you to use your brain very, very simply and think about how economics, especially around food, work. Here's how it works. It's very simple. Food companies make money not on creating healthy foods. You don't make much money growing one apple and selling that organic fresh apple to someone in your local community. The profit margins are not there because you don't have the massive inventory to move. So what have the vegans done? They have created a culture that has 
totally ignored the fact that it eats all processed foods. To be a vegan means that you have to get your superfoods from another place. You have to get your specialty corn and rice from over here. At Whole Foods, there's nothing local. At Trader Joe's, there's nothing local. I don't know too many vegans who can sustain themselves through all four seasons, year after year, eating locally. Now, compare that to the healthy version, like a keto or a carnivore diet. I can eat local 100%. The yogurt that I'm eating comes from the goats down the street. The meat that I'm eating comes from the butcher 20 miles away who has a farm. All of the food that I'm eating is made by human beings that live close to me. I don't eat any processed foods. I don't have to pay a truck driver to drive some food from Nebraska all the way to Arizona for me. In my opinion, if you are a vegan, then you also have to be an environmentalist. And if you're an environmentalist, then you really can't be a vegan. The more funny aspects of the movie Game Changers and veganism in general is the idea that anyone who's been vegan and then eats some eggs like, you know, John Venus did, um, or myself who was vegan and now I'm not vegan at all, um, a sentiment from the movie that wasn't said out loud, but kind of in the undertones. And what I hear all the time online is, you were never vegan. And my question is to the people who say you were never vegan is, did you get breastfed? Were you a vegan since birth? Are there any humans since birth? And do you really think that every person in the Game Changers movie is vegan? And vegan in the way that you guys promote it? for the animals, nothing at all. It's like, I see leather shoes in the movie, that's not vegan. So if those people aren't vegan, how, does it even, how is it even a vegan movie? And I guarantee with 100% certainty that not everyone in the Game Changer movie is even still vegan and they're probably lying about vegan, being purely vegan in the first place. I know so many online personalities that I've met in real life and spent time with and gotten to see that their veganism isn't as, as vegan as it seems. So keep that in your mind as well. So that's the biggest overall BS and little lie that they try to be sneaky with. And all you have to do is really go and check your facts. Go to environmentalist website. You can look at the amount of absolute craziness there is to get vegan products. It's very simple economics. If you are not sourcing your food close to where you live and you're eating mostly packaged processed foods from other places, then you are absolutely killing the environment, period. And if you're killing the environment, then I don't think your definition of veganism is right. It means you're not vegan. If you're killing the environment, you're not vegan because you don't care about human animals or any animals because if there's no environment, there are no animals. Number two, and this one, I made a video a couple, might have been a week ago, about is meat inflammatory? And it unequivocally is not. In the movie Game Changers, under the radar, they try to really push vegan protein. I mean, and it's no joke that the producers and the people who are paying for the movie also are the same people who own shares in vegan protein companies. They are building a loop for you guys, a very straightforward funnel. Tell people that vegan diet is the healthiest and that animal proteins will kill you and that vegan protein is better and will heal you. Then show them a bunch of non-peer reviewed, kind of propagandized research and then also make a movie showing really pretty people telling you how wonderful the vegan protein is. They're taking advantage of you people, they're lying to you people, and they're lining the pockets with your money as you eat those vegan protein shakes and get sicker and sicker and sicker. There could be nothing further from the truth. The way that human body is made is that the most bioavailable nutrients come from animals and protein is unequivocally better for the body when it comes from 
animals. So meat cause inflammation. Okay, then why does every single person on the carnivore diet experience zero bloating, zero inflammation, zero belching, zero burping? Because it's the most anti-inflammatory diet I have ever been on in my entire life. What I wanna focus on though is the idea from the movie that protein from plants is far superior than animal proteins. Now, so also what I want you guys to do is check out the Amino Henselman link. All of the research that I'm talking about is in that link. Um, you can go and check it out for yourself. But Amino Henselman has put up a ton of research studies. Since vegans love research studies so much and they love to cherry pick them so much, well, Amino Henselman did it for me. I think there's like eight to 10 articles that he found or that he has out of hundreds and hundreds that you can find out there that prove that even unhealthy omnivores live just as long as uber healthy vegans and vegetarians. So that should tell you everything you need to know. Mino also goes on to give lots and lots and lots of research and data for you guys out there who have to have your peer reviewed research. Right here is study after study after study after study after study proving that omnivores and vegetarians life expectancy is exactly the same the game changers is one saying the vegan diet is the healthiest diet in the world and two it's the best for the environment well i've already proven in five seconds that it's not very environmentally friendly at all to eat a diet based on processed foods that come from other places but two if it was the healthiest diet in the world then all vegans and vegetarians would live way longer than omnivores. Well, the data shows that's unequivocally not true. Despite when people go vegan or vegetarian, it is because they are more conscious about their health. And this should really, really show you something, that if someone is ultra conscious about their health, the way vegans and vegetarians are, and they're doing everything they can to be healthy, and they're not living any longer than old Joe Blow down there who's having McDonald's, smoking cigarettes, and drinking Jack Daniels, well, that, that should prove to you easily that the vegan diet is pretty much no better than that. It's not leading to better results in the real world from the data than standard American diet, basically. So to say that it's a healthier diet is wrong, and to say that it is better for the environment is also just straight up wrong. Meat is inferior in protein than plant foods. Game Changers slowly, methodically paints the picture that if you eat meat, you're gonna have no gains because vegan protein is far superior. Now, anyone who has been an athlete, anyone who's been into bodybuilding, anyone who's been into fitness for more than five years, you know, someone who's been around the game, knows that this is just simply not true. The number one complaint that I get from my vegan clients is that they cannot hold on to body weight and it's extremely hard to gain muscle. You have to understand that the people in the movie Game Changers that they are promoting as being built by a vegan diet actually are freaks. They're mesomorphs. They're the people with the best genetics on the earth and it really doesn't matter what they eat. They're going to gain huge amounts of muscle and be much leaner than everyone else no matter what. You look at people like Simeon Nutrition and I don't know if that's really his name, but people say all the time, well, you can obviously gain a ton of muscle on a vegan diet, look at Simeon Nutrition. Well, yeah, the guy's very muscular, but he's also 140 pounds at 5'7". That's not big. He's always in the eight percentile in body fat. That's not healthy. And if that is what you guys are calling the golden boy or the absolute Adonis of health, I can debate that all freaking day. If Simeon Nutrition was on a proper bodybuilding diet that consisted of bioavailable protein from animals, the dude would be an absolute freak. He would be a professional bodybuilder. Instead, and you can see this, you can see this in all of the pictures if you pay attention, the dude is lacking majorly in size in his lower body. He couldn't compete on a bodybuilding stage with the physique he has at all. And no, I'm not dissing the dude. He's buff as hell. He's twice as buff as me. He's got huge shoulders and huge arms. 
but to use anecdotal evidence of someone who's a mesomorph and someone who's naturally buff and to say their diet did that to them is dead wrong. And I'm not alone. There are many, many, most professionals in the fitness game agree with me. And one who's absolutely 100% science-based is Mino Henselman. He is a science researcher, he's a strength coach, he's a personal trainer, and he gets absolutely amazing results. And this dude does not give a crap about any belief system. He is pure evidence-based science. So first off, let's look at his overall conclusion. Plant protein sources are not as high quality as animal protein sources, and vegan diets are not optimal for health. So if you're not a vegetarian for ethical reasons, there's absolutely no incentive to turn vegetarian or vegan for your health or your physique. Eno Henselman agrees with me wholeheartedly, and he's coming from no ethical thing, no bias. He's just straight data, straight science. There are many, 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 many lies, many fake news oriented things in the movie Game Changers. These are the two biggest glaring obvious things that they're just, they're not saying out loud fully, but they're assuming this. And they're quietly whispering in all of your guys' ears that, hey, you know, if you do the vegan diet, it's the best thing for the environment. And it makes you the most ethical, moral person in the world. And you will be loved by everyone. Is this actually even true? Do the vegans you know love everyone? Do the vegans you know not have cars with leather seatbelts or never wear leather shoes? How about owning pets? Is that vegan? I see a lot of people in the movie Game Changers owning pets, enslaving pets. Is that vegan? If you don't care about the environment, you can't call yourself a vegan. And if you're saying the vegan diet is best for the environment, you're wrong. How could a diet and lifestyle that's based on selling products and processed foods and shipping them around the world rather than a local economy. The idea promoted by the movie Game Changers that one, vegan protein sources are better for the body, healthier, and can add more muscle to the body is just unequivocally wrong. Anecdotally, scientifically, and in my own experience, unequivocally wrong. Let's just simply take a look at how I used to look as a vegan. I was very lean, I had a little bit of muscle, I was working out in a very smart manner, I was getting plenty of vegan protein, and I could not hold on to the amount of muscle and body weight that is healthy for me as a human being. Now, almost two years on an animal-based diet and my body and physique and my health is absolutely different. You can see the obvious difference. I'm just as lean, I'm way bigger, I'm way healthier, I'm more masculine, I'm more hormonally balanced. This cannot be achieved on the vegan diet. Me personally, I don't trust any research or any documentary or any film that is done by a non-artist. And what I mean by that is they hired an artist to shoot and edit the film. And I heard that that artist isn't even vegan. Secondly, the movie is paid for and promoted by the people who are selling you the products that they are promoting in the movie. So it's a super, super easy cash cow. They're taking advantage of you people. You need to wake up. Take responsibility for your own health. Do your own research and keep your eyes open. Why do you think there is a whole new genre in this world? Ex-vegans. How many of us have dedicated our life to veganism and it's absolutely ruined our pocketbooks, it's ruined our health, and for most people, it's ruined their relationships. If you are a vegan person, here's what I have to say to you or what I would ask you. If you hate humans, are you vegan? And if you're not an environmentalist, are you vegan? These are honest questions I have for the vegan community. These were the same questions I had as a vegan. When I was vegan, I did not agree with the idea that veganism is the best for the environment. Why? Because I had to get my food from other places in the world. I had to pay for shipping and receiving. That is a major part of the issue. So overall, I thought the movie was very beautiful. The people in the movie was very beautiful. But again, like the vegan movement itself, it was based on lies and contradictory statements. I would love to hear your guys' opinion about Game Changers. 
So leave all of your comments and questions down below. Thanks so much for watching this video and turning the page back to what I really do is skin health. And if you're looking to get a hold of me to become a skin health client, there's a link in the description for a consultation. My three phases of skin disease reversal workbook that does have a vegan section in it is at holistichealthactivation.com. You can find me on Instagram as Stuart Rob Stewart, but in real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. Thanks so much for your support, guys. I will be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.